What's up boys and girls, this is Glenn here again with another Rope Rage video. In this video we're going to be looking at an explosive jump rope workout to really build those legs. As you can see we've got a lovely, lovely drone up in the sky as well. Really just to provide some different angles so you can really see what's going on here. Um, we're going to break down these techniques via voiceover. A lot of them are very powerful, very creative techniques, some of which you probably haven't come across before. This channel is all about getting you to look at your rope training differently and I'm sure you'll be into it. And if you are, take a second just to hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. Um, and let me know what you think of the video down below. So without further ado, I'm going to stop nattering and we're going to crack straight into it. So we're getting started with some sprints and really jump rope sprints are loosely defined as any technique that involves high knees at speed. So here we're starting with some regular sprints here, just running forward with the rope. Always a great idea in my opinion to move around with the rope rather than stand on the spot. Um, in this next part, we want to get the upper body involved as well. So we're doing some crossovers as we sprint to engage those arms, engage the chest muscles, you know, just to get the whole body nice and warm, just to get, just to get a little, a little bit, a little bit spiced up for our workout. Huh? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, next, we went into some backwards crossovers. Give the brain something different to think about. Similar to the previous, we're doing our crosses with the arms, but this time we've got the rope rotating backwards. There are a few tutorials on this channel on how to jump rope backwards, so check them out when you've got the chance. Okay, so the sprints are cool, the sprints are good. But once you're a bit bored of that, we can move on to some power jumps, and here's where things get a bit interesting. We're gonna start off with the Tyson squat. Um, we have a tutorial for this on the channel and I'm sure a few of you are familiar with this movement. It's a real tough one for the legs engaging the upper leg, the quads, the hamstrings and the glutes and you can feel a real burn in the legs from this movement. Um, a slight variation here, we're moving forward as we do this Tyson squat. Um, big fan of moving around with the rope and any opportunity you can, I really encourage moving around with the rope. Next we have, well, to be honest, I don't know what to call this yet. <laughs> um, feel free to drop a suggestion in the comments, but this is a technique I've been working on for some time. It involves jumping up in the air with the legs split, kind of like a lunge and sort of switching the rope between the legs and continuing in this manner, switching the split of the legs each time. Technically, not even a jump rope technique. Though you're not actually jumping with the rope open, you're kind of just swinging the rope beneath the legs. Um, for techniques like these, I'd, I'd really just like to say it's not a jump rope technique, but it is a rope rage technique. So at some point there will be a tutorial. I know some of you have asked for this one. It's on its way. Bear with me, it's coming soon. And lastly, but by no means least, we are looking at some lateral movements here. Again, as I've said many times on this channel, I'm a big fan of moving around with the rope. It really builds your coordination and your understanding of how much space you have to move inside the rope. Uh, lateral movements are great because a lot of the time we neglect the muscles on the sides of the legs because we're jumping up and down. Uh, it's more focused on the frontal and the muscles at the back of the leg. But lateral movements allow you to engage the muscles at the side of the leg. We start with some regular side steps. We moved into some crossovers also. And turning up the heat right at the end, we went into some lateral double unders.
So this is your normal double under, but you're moving along sideways as you go, really exploding through those lateral muscles of the calf. but it's also good to experiment and here we're just having a little play around with the rope just to finish off the session doing this sort of thing intermittently playing with the rope and being serious with the rope really helps you to enjoy your workout and if you enjoy your workout you'll do your workouts more and if you do your workouts more you'll become a better athlete so I'm gonna wrap there thanks so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful for you and if it was Please do leave a like, please do drop a comment in the box down below, tell me which technique you like the most or which technique you want to learn, uh, if there are any specific tutorials let me know, I will get to work on those also. Um, that's about it for today, I appreciate you once again checking out the video and until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. <laughs>